Welcome back geographers. What are the contributions of Western Europe to culture, education, and the arts? People, places, and cultures. Political events in the 1900s threatened all of Europe. In order to survive and compete in a changing world, the nations of Western Europe needed to learn to work together. After World War II, they made efforts to do this. In April 1951, the Treaty of Paris created an international agency to supervise the coal and steel industries. France, West Germany, Belgium, the Netherlands, Luxembourg, and Italy signed this treaty. These six nations created the European Economic Community, the EEC, in 1958 to make trade among the member nations easier. In 1967 these countries came together to form the European Commission. In 1971 they were joined by the United Kingdom and Ireland. Denmark, Greece, Spain, and Portugal joined the Commission by the late 1980s. Those 12 nations formed the European Union, or EU, in 1993. The goal of the EU is to strengthen trade between the countries of Europe. Member nations control their own political and economic decisions. However, they follow EU laws on the use of natural resources and release of pollutants. They also have agreements on law enforcement and security. The European Union now has 27 members. Eight of those nations are in Western Europe. Austria, Belgium, France, Germany, Ireland, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. East and West Germany reunited when the Soviet Union lost control in the 1980s. Germany is now a strong voice in the EU. Celts, Saxons, Romans, Vikings, Visigoths, and others fought for control in ancient Western Europe. Those groups faded as the modern nations of Europe began to take shape. Ethnic groups such as the French and Germans now rule entire countries. Their languages are the main languages of those nations. Most of those countries are home to members of other ethnic minority groups. Many of these are immigrants. They often speak the language of their homeland and keep their own culture. The Indo-European languages are a group of related languages. They are spoken in most of Europe, parts of the world that were colonized by Europeans, and India and other parts of Asia. Two major divisions of Indo-European languages spoken in Western Europe are Romance and Germanic. Romance languages are based on Latin, the language of the Roman Empire. Although English is a Germanic language, about half of its words come from the Romance languages. Not all Western European languages are Indo-European, however. For example, Basque is spoken in the Pyrenees region of France and Spain. It is not related to any other language spoken today. Many Western Europeans speak more than one language, their native language plus English, French, or German. Christianity continues to be the major religion in Europe. Today, most Western Europeans are either Catholic or Protestant. The Roman Catholic faith is strongest in France, Ireland, and Belgium. Protestant churches are strongest in the United Kingdom and Germany. Many Muslims have immigrated to Western Europe. They follow the religion of Islam. The Holocaust nearly wiped out Europe's Jewish population. Today, Jewish communities are growing in Western Europe, especially in France, the United Kingdom, and Germany. For centuries, Western Europe has been a world leader in culture and the arts. European explorers spread European culture to other parts of the globe. The arts are an important part of Western European culture. Museums and cultural institutions celebrate each nation's art and history, and national governments support the arts. Western European culture has had a major influence on the rest of the world. The most important team sport in Western Europe is soccer. Cricket and rugby are popular in the United Kingdom. Mountain climbing, skating, and skiing are popular in the rugged Alps of Switzerland and Austria. Much of the population of Western Europe lives in cities, so roads are crowded. To relieve traffic congestion and control pollution, much of Europe has turned to high-speed rail lines. The first of these were built in France in 1981. In the 1990s, French rail lines began connecting to other high-speed rail lines. A well-developed highway system also links Europe's major cities. Germany's superhighways, called autobahns, are among Europe's best roads. 
Western Europe is one of the wealthiest, most urban, and well-educated regions in the world. Many students go on to attend college. The region contains some of the oldest and most famous universities. Oxford University in England and the University of Paris opened before 1200. Originally, universities were founded to educate the clergy. Current challenges. Since the Industrial Revolution, improvements in agriculture have made it possible for fewer people to cultivate larger areas of land. Today, more than half the population of Western Europe lives and works in cities. Even in France, the region's leading agricultural nation, less than 4% of the workforce works in agriculture. In the past few decades, the number of industrial workers has also declined. The industrial, or secondary, sector of the economy employs only about 25% of the people. Many more people work in the tertiary sector, or service industries. Service jobs include government, education, healthcare, financial services, retail, computing, and repair. Every nation in Europe has a post-industrial economy. That means that more people work in services than in industry. In 1900, Great Britain, France, and Germany ruled over empires that extended beyond Europe to Asia, Africa, the Americas, and the Pacific Islands. The two world wars were hard on the region. Then the Cold War kept it on the brink of war for 40 years. Germany, France, and the United Kingdom are still among the seven biggest economies in the world. The European Union helps Western European nations compete with larger economies, such as the United States, China, and Japan. However, the global financial crisis of 2008 had an impact on all of Europe. Governments of the EU disagreed about how to deal with ongoing financial problems. Most population growth in Western Europe today is from immigration. Germany, France, the Netherlands, and United Kingdom have large Muslim populations. People come from Africa, Asia, and Eastern Europe looking for job opportunities or to escape political oppression. The mix of European and immigrant cultures creates a more diverse culture, but also creates racial and religious tensions.